بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پاتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک ڈیفائن آر ریلیشن شپس کارڈینالٹی اینڈ کراس فلٹر ڈائریکشن وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ڈیزائن اینڈ امپلیمنٹ آر ڈیٹا ماڈل ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز وی ہیو سین فیکس اینڈ ڈائمینشنس اینڈ وی ہیو بلٹ آر ڈیٹا ماڈل فرام اسکریچ ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو اے ڈیٹیل لک ایٹ واٹ دا ریلیشن شپس آر how we define relationships in power bi what is cardinality and what is cross filter direction so we are going to go back to the file where we developed the maven market example so if you have the maven market example in the power bi file just open that file so we are going to start our discussion from that file here i have opened the maven market report file and if you remember from one of the previous videos we had successfully created the data model inside of power query editor and now we have seven tables inside the data pane here in the main power bi interface also in this main power bi desktop environment if you come to the left side then you see that there are three areas Uh, on the left this area which is selected right now is called as the report view then we have the data view and then we have the model view this data view is also as has recently been labeled as the table view but we are going to explore this view which is going to be which is the model view so we have brought in the facts and dimensions now we have to create the relationship to complete the data modeling process so i am going to click here on the model view and here you are going to see an area where there are a few boxes and all of these boxes represents the table inside our data model so these are the tables that we have brought from power query editor and these are the boxes which represent each of these tables so now we are going to have a look at the relationship so what are relationships so we already know that a relationship is uh, between the primary key and the foreign key so it is a uh, it is a combination of primary key and foreign key that that is called as a relationship but first we we need to look at what are the different types of relationship and how we can use those relationships inside the power bi environment there are three types of relationships between any tables the first one is called one to one the second one is called one to many or many to one and the third one is called many to many relationship now let's go and understand what are these three different types through an example so first let's look uh, let's look, look at an example that explain one to one relationship so here we have two tables person and passport and both of these tables have two column person id and person name is the per, is in the person uh, table and then person id and per passport number are the two columns is the in the passport table so as we have already seen that the relationship requires that there need to be at least one column and that is we explained explored in detail once we were looking at the joints so here the person id column is common in both the table so it means that we can define a relationship using the person id column so a one to one relationship says that if you have unique records in one table and the same unique records appear in the other table so if you have one record for this person id then you also have one record for corresponding one record for this person id in this table similarly for all the other all the other records if you have unique values in one table and you have unique values in the other table then this kind of relationship that is going to be created between these two columns is called as one to one relationship so this is an example of one to one relationship the second type of relationship is called as the one to many relationship so let's look at this particular example so here we have two tables customers and transactions in the customer table we have two columns customer id and customer name and in the transactions table we have customer id and quantity purchase so if we have a table where the number of records are unique so here we can see that 1 2 3 4 5 each of these ids appear once but on the other side we have multiple records 
for these id so you can see that the id 2 appears more than once similarly id 3 appears more than once so even if just one id appears more than once then the relationship between two tables through the customer id column is called as a one to many relationship so it is called one to many if we look from the customer side to the transaction side but if we look at it from the opposite direction from the transaction side to the customer side then this is called as a many to one relationship so in data modeling if we say that this customer table is our dimension table so this customer table is perfectly a dimension table because we know that this customer table has a customer id column which is acting as a primary key because all the all the records here are unique and distinct and here this transaction table actually represents a real world fact table because there can be multiple transactions for a particular customer id so in data modeling the way we have done the data modeling in the star schema all the relationships between the primary keys and the foreign keys uh, actually represent a one to many relationship so we need to make sure that once we are developing a data model this is a good check that once uh, we develop the data model and if the relationship happens to be one to many then it means that the process of making a data model has been followed correctly the third and last type of relationship is called as the many to many relationship as shown in this example so here we have two tables products and stores so in the products table we have three columns product id product name and product and price and similarly in the stores table we have product id and store name so product id is the column which is common between both these tables so if you have a situation where in both the tables there are multiple records for the same product id so here we have product one appearing more than once and here we have multiple uh, records for example product id is appearing uh, product id 4 is appearing uh, three times product id 5 is appearing uh, more than once uh, it is appearing twice similarly 7 is appearing twice and 6 is appearing twice so if we have a situation where we have records that appear more than once then if a relationship needs to be built between product id and product id or between the products table and the stores table then this relationship is called as a many to many relationship which says that there are many records for the primary key in this column and similarly for the foreign key there are multiple records so this is the many to many relationship so this is the relationship that we want to avoid we are going to explore this uh, in more detail in the in the uh, next section where we are looking at optimizing the data model but if you have not done the data modeling correctly then there can be a many to many relationship which can exist in your data model but this is certainly not desirable and we do not want to have a many to many relationship so this was all about the relationships now let's go and see what is the relationship cardinality you will hear the word cardinality a lot of times once you are working in the power bi environment or exploring some of the literature relating to the uh, power bi environment there are two uh, types of cardinality one is the cardinality that is on the column and one is the cardinality which is related to the relationship so cardinality for a column represents the number of unique values in the column so if we have a column which has a lot of unique values then we say that this particular column has a high cardinality similarly if we have a column which has low number of unique values then we say that this uh, this table has this column has a low cardinality but in terms of the relationship the cardinality of the relationship means having unique or multiple instances per value for the joining field between two values so here the cardinality of the relationship is basically talking about the three types of uh, relationships that we saw one to one one to many and many to many because we have seen that the unique values or the multiple instances per value actually uh, have already been covered in the one to many or many to many part so this is uh, something that uh, a lot of people get confused with so if you are talking about relationship cardinality then understand that it is simply referring to one of the type of the relationship but if the cardinality is just referring to a column then you should know that it is referring to the number of unique values in a column 
Now let's go to the Power BI desktop environment and see how we can define these relationships and why these relationships are important in terms of our star schema. So here I am back inside the Power BI desktop environment and I have seen that there are seven boxes here in this particular area inside the data model view. So inside the data model, we have, we have talked about it that we have a primary key in the dimension table and we have foreign keys in the fact table. And now we have just seen that what are the relationships that are created using the primary key and the foreign key. So what is the purpose of creating these relationships? So the beauty of using a tool like Power BI where you develop a star schema model is that you create relationships between the primary key and foreign keys and this is actually telling the tool, this is actually telling Power BI that these are the columns that you will be using to create joins between these tables. So you necessarily do not have to do anything about it. The tool or the engine which is working behind the scenes, it is using these columns, the primary key and the foreign key, it is using these columns to create joins and then it is using those joins it is fetching different types of results for you so we are going to explain this part or explore this part once we are looking at the tax programming but for the sake of clarity you should be clear that these relationships between the primary key and foreign key are created to tell the power bi engine which is working behind the scenes to know that once you have to resolve the queries once you have to resolve the different DAX formulas that these are the columns that you have to use to, to create joins between the tables because in real world scenarios we are actually pulling values from the fact tables and then filtering those values from the dimension table so we are going to explore this part in a bit but just for the sake of clarity just keep this thing in mind that the relationships are important and these relationships tell the underlying engine for Power BI that these are the columns that you have to use for creating the joins and these joins are not visible to the developer and this is the, the most powerful aspect of any BI tool uh, especially Power BI where you don't have to worry about the joining part right like you have to worry about once you are doing or writing code in a language like SQL where you have to, uh, to take care of all the joins yourself here the uh, the process of creating joins and resulting uh, creating results based on those joins is handled by the Power BI engine. Now I'm going to create the relationships and for creating the relationships, I am going to use these seven boxes, uh, each representing a table. So first of all, I need to figure out what are my facts and my dimensions. So first I, uh, I am going to figure out that which is my uh, fact table. So I know that transactions data is my fact table because if you remember that once we were working with the transaction data, we we saw that there are IDs in this column. So at any stage, if you want to actually see how, what the tables are, so you can use this part here on the left where we saw that the second part here represents the data view. So I'm going to click here on the data view and once I click here on the data view, I just need to go and click on my transactions data table. So here, if you come, you are going to see that here we have these columns representing the foreign keys. So in fact, these two, the date values, because we see that the dates are also part of the foreign key. So these are the foreign keys and this column, this quantity column is a is a quantitative column. So I clearly know that the transactions underscore data is a fact table. Similarly, we have another table which is returns. There is another table which is returns that shows the same kind of characteristics like we have just seen for the transactions that there are three foreign keys and there is one quantitative column. So it is again a candidate for a fact table but you might be thinking that we have studied star schema and we saw that there is just one fact table so i told you at this time that this is just a description so we can have multiple fact tables and we can have multiple dimensions connected to each of the fact tables so here in these seven tables we have transactions data and returns as the two fact tables 
so i am back in the model view and i am also going to bring my returns table here and i am going to put the returns table next to the transactions data table here so this is something that i am developing based on my experience this is not necessarily something that you need to follow but if you follow this then i am going to explain that how easy it is to understand some of the concepts that we are exploring in this particular video now we have figured out the fact tables now we need to figure out our dimension so we have already seen that calendar is obviously a dimension because we have a date column here so if i go back to the data view so here the calendar table has this particular date column so this date column this particular this date column is obviously uh, this as acting as a primary key and we see that this date column is actually uh, unique and distinct so this calendar is the first dimension similarly if i look at the customers table here so here again i have a column which is the customer id and this customer id is again a primary key so customer id here is representing a primary key and that makes this customer table also a dimension similarly we have the products table in the products table we have the product id and this makes this table also a dimension next we have the region table so here again in the region table you can see that we have a region id so and all of the values here are distinct and unique so this is a primary key so regions is again another dimension the last table here is the stores table and if i come in this stores table this is something that we have not seen before so here i see that there is a id which is the store id which is unique and which is distinct so this is the primary key but here i am also seeing the id for the region so if the id for the region table which is region id i am seeing here and it is here as a foreign key so this is something that can actually confuse you that okay we have a dimension table it looks like a dimension table but why is there a foreign key here from another table so this is a special case where we have a dimension and in that dimension there is a foreign key of another dimension so this is a special case which we refer to as the snowflake schema so we are going to talk about snowflake schema in a bit but just remember that in a situation where you have the key of a dimension inside another dimension as a foreign key then that kind of a schema is called as a snowflake schema and this snowflaking only happens for the dimensions so it is not that you would have some other scenario so it is only going to happen for dimension that you would have dimension connected to a dimension so as essentially telling me that there is a relationship between the regions table and the stores table so both of these are dimension tables but this uh, relationship is telling me that this is another special kind of a schema which is called as the snowflake schema so now i am going to bring in the rest of my dimension so i have put in calendar here now i will bring in my customer here then i am going to bring in my products here and then i am going to bring in my regions here so one dimension here which is the stores dimension and i have already told you just uh, just a few seconds ago that this is a special case because this stores has a relationship with the region table so i have not put it alongside here so that i can see that there is a third layer which is there uh, which actually is just connected to the regions layer so this is one way of just putting your tables just uh, aligning your tables and this is something that uh, I, i normally do based on my own experience but this is not something that you need to do obviously but th this way of arranging the tables is uh, is convenient once we talk about some of the other concepts in power bi so i am going to stop this video here because it is already a very long video so i am going to talk about the relationships in the next part and then we are going to physically create those relationships between the primary key and the foreign key and then we are also going to talk about the cross filter direction so i will catch you up in the next part of this video